RollForCrit.com presents How to Play Star Realms in 5 Minutes or Less or More. Star Realms is the deck building game of space combat and prestige for two players or more if you buy more of them. Published by White Wizard Games and designed by Darwin Castle and Rob Doherty. The object of Star Realms is to be the last player standing. Each player begins the game with 50 authority points. Once you reach zero points, you're out of there. Baseball reference. You'll begin the game with a deck of 10 cards, 8 scouts, and 2 vipers. The player who takes the very first turn only gets to draw 3 cards from their deck, but every player for every other turn will draw a normal full hand of 5 cards. From there, you get to play your cards in any order or manner that you so please. There are two primary actions you'll get to take. The first is attack! If you see this red combat symbol and a number, it means you can deal that many points of damage to your opponent. Simple. Next, there's trade. In the center of the table will be a lineup of five random cards plus a pile of explorer cards which are always available. If you have enough trade power from the cards you've played on your turn to purchase one or more of these cards, you may do so. Purchased cards go to your discard pile and will be shuffled into your deck the next time you run out of cards to draw. In this way, you can start to build powerful combos of cool cards in your Dawesome deck. Once you purchase a card, it's immediately replaced by something new in the lineup, so you'll have a chance to buy that too if you still have points left over. The cards that you can buy are way cooler than your basic starting cards. Many of them will let you attack and trade in just the same way. However, you'll notice that they're all affiliated with one of four groups, as indicated by the colors of the cards. Many cards have multiple abilities. The first ability triggers automatically when the card is played. The second has that faction symbol we talked about earlier. This means that you can use that second ability only if you also play another card of the same color on the same turn. For example, if you played two different red machine cult cards on the same turn with two different triggering abilities like so, you could activate both of those abilities because they each work with the other. Next, you'll notice this trash can symbol down here. That means scrap. That means getting rid of a card completely from your deck and the entire game. If you decide to do that on your turn, you lose the card and get to use its scrap ability. Of course, you can still use its other abilities first before deciding to scrap it. With the exception of scrapping, which removes the card from play, and primary abilities which take effect immediately when played, you can activate your abilities in any order that you so choose. So these are all ship cards, but you've also got the extremely important base cards. These cards, once played, stay out in front of you each turn. As long as they're in play, you can continue to use them once per turn. However, they have life totals as well. When dealing damage, you or your opponent can choose to target these bases instead of the player themselves to rid them of a helpful ability. In fact, some locations are marked as outposts. That means that opponents have to go through them before being able to hit the defending player at all. They're essentially shields. Speaking of defensive play, you'll also find some cards with this green authority symbol, which allows you to heal yourself for the indicated number of points. Comes in very handy. Anyway, once you've played your hand, you discard all those cards and draw a new one for your next turn. None of your unspent trade or combat points will carry over. Keep on going back and forth, back and forth, until someone wins and the other person doesn't. There are multiple rule sets and variants for different numbers of players, but them's the basics. In conclusion, draw cards, buy cards, build outposts, destroy your enemies' reputations. That's Star Realms in a nutshell. Did you get all that?